So it's a very exciting video because it's the one that all of you have been asking for and that is a tour of the farm but we're also going to include is what are we going to be doing in 2024. Oh yes, today we are going to walk around our new property, show you what it's all about, show you what we've got and talk about what we're going to be up to in 2024. Not just on this channel Machinery Nation but also on our vlog channel as well which is linked at the end of this video and in the description. So please check out that, please click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content because it's going to be mixed across the two. So right, let's get started by showing you the office. Right, so I've got Max, my main man here because it is New Year's Eve Eve. He's on my computer which is my work computer and that is the editing computer there for all the editing. And that has a load of camera stuff. It's all loads to sort out in here. It's a mess. Because up through here, there's going to be more desks. One for Alex and one for Josh. And then a bit of a break room up here, look. So we've got kitchen and everything, but we've got loads to still sort out. Those are freebies, look. Anybody want a steel key ring? Or some Makita goodies? Or some Ego goodies, which is in that box? And some other stuff. So that is one massive thing we are going to be doing now in 2024. And that is giveaways. Not just on the YouTube, but also on Instagram. So make sure you click our, our Instagram Machine Nation because we are going to be doing a load more giveaways. And Suzanne is going to be the one who's in charge of that. So it's not down to me anymore because I've always been doing it before and I haven't been great at doing it, but Suzanne's going to be well on it. You're going to be seeing loads of giveaways from t-shirts to brand merchandise to machines. Yes, we are going to be giving away machines. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and follow us on Instagram and other places, TikTok and all that as well. So right, let's go outside and see some more. This is going to be our new workshop area where we are going to be doing how-to videos, build videos, repairing and doing up second-hand machinery. It is going to be a full-on workshop. You may have seen the video where Richard and I were painting the white walls the other day using an air sprayer and an airless sprayer, which if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. We have also now painted the floor grey, so it's going to be nice and clean in here. It's going to be a partition there in the middle with a main workshop here at the front and storage at the rear. So in the coming weeks, there is going to be a load of content on this workshop because we have done a deal with a manufacturer who are supplying us a load of workshop equipment and tools to kit this out properly. We're currently in the process of putting the electrics in because there's no electrics in here at the moment. So the lights will be in here in the next couple of weeks and then the sockets will come later. That sort of content will probably be on the vlog channel, but the main workshop kitting out will be here on Machinery Nation. Cannot wait to get this done and sorted so we can actually start working on some of our projects. So as some of you already know, I've recently sold up our machinery dealership. So we are no longer a dealer of new machinery. So this is so that we can fully focus on the media side of our business. So that is promoting tools and machinery and equipment for manufacturers, as well as creating a load of other cool content for you guys to watch. Right, so I've already featured this in one video or maybe two already, but this is sort of a temporary workshop I've created for a small studio, which we're going to be keeping. So if we can't do content in there because there's too much noise going on, we're going to be doing content in here. It will be a lot tidier, I promise, when we actually do videos because it is an absolute mess at the moment. And now something there that I want to show you. So how exciting is this? This is the Lumag VH500, which Max is playing with the standing plate on it, which is a compact tracked dumper, which is high lift, right? And it's also got its own loading scoop on the front and you can stand on it to drive it around. So there's a video coming on Machinery Nation very soon of us having a go with that. How cool, well excited. So this is our house, which is a little three bedroom house, much smaller than what we've had before, but we're making it work. And yeah, it's doing okay. So yeah, maybe some content with that, maybe with power tools and things, but not masses in the house stuff isn't a great, I'm not a big DIY fan in houses, so we'll do that. But down here we have a driveway, which we've already re-leveled on the vlog channel where Max has been driving the digger and getting all that sorted. So this was just a muddy mess, wasn't it, Max, when we first moved in? And so we just put road planings down through here. And nice little lawn to the right, where there is also a new hedge, which I've just done the video of that. Got those laurel plants for Christmas from my parents, and I've planted them up through there to make a nice little hedge. Here we have the swimming pool, <laughs> or a pond, which I hate. I just don't like it. It's not my thing at all. There we go, it is here, it is what it is. And leading around from the pond, we've got a nice Leylandy hedge, which, well, Leylandy's not my favorite, and you can see here, it's got some bare patches in the top of it. So it'd be good for hedge trimming videos anyway, so that'd be good. And then we've had a new uh, sewage treatment plant put in outside of that wall. 
So this is all very messy here at the moment. So this is all the stuff that's needs doing. Conduit is all here, not finished. And then in here, we have the old ruins of the previous property, like the old property that burnt down, which we're sort of stood in at the moment. That burnt down back in the 60s. And this is what was left. So yeah, this is sort of the back of the house. But it is oh, just mishmash, absolute mishmash. So coming to the end of this lawn, well, what was lawn, it's not much of a lawn at the moment, is a ha-ha. And a ha-ha is a wall at the end of a garden, which is the same level, and it drops down into a field to sort of make it look like there isn't anything there. And this is the sewage treatment plant, which takes all of our sewage away. It goes down to the woods down there, which we'll go to in a minute. And then we've got this five acre field out the front, which is the uh, sort of field to the right. Got another one out over there, which we'll show you later on. Now we're going to show you all the second hand projects that we've been buying recently to do up and sell on. The first one is this 35, Massey 35, which is the original four cylinder engine. There's lots of bits missing, like radiators and fuel tanks and clutch pedals. I have no idea how bad it is on the inside. So we're going to do a will it start video with that and then go from there. So another one is this Lely mower, which is an eight foot disc mower. Again, bought it second hand. It's got some issues, but nothing major. But as you can see, even though it's like 20 plus years old, it is in very good condition. So hopefully there won't be too much wrong with it and we can get that working again. Recently from an auction, I bought this Bowser, which has got a pressure washer on the front of it. So it's an 1100 litre water tank with a pressure washer, all turbo and road worthy. So another project we're gonna be doing. Now this here is a video I've done on, uh, on the vlog channel, which is a job lot of machinery I've bought from a Black multi-scraper to some Toro Time Masters to a Black stone rake, a little mini skid steer loader, pallet forks, a set and a cedar, some cement mixers. That's all stuff that we're going to be going through and working out whether it's worth selling or whether it's scrapper or whether pop it to an auction. We'll see. But the really exciting stuff about this is that we're not just going to be doing it up on the channels we are going to be saying how much i paid for it when i bought it and also how much it costs to do up and how much we get for it when we sell it so it's going to be full disclosure of how that system works and how you can make money out of second-hand machinery this is my favorite project we're going to be doing it's a kubota b2400 with a cab and a loader yeah so we bought this to sell as much to max as Disappointment, but this is going to be for sale. Another one we're going to be doing up on the channel, going through, see if we make some money out of it. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to not do some secondhand chainsaw content, so that'll be coming soon. Now, this has been in the background of so many videos, and we've had quite a few questions on it before. It's like, what are we doing with it? When are we going to do anything with it? One day, we'll put an engine in that, or if I don't, I will. <laughs> The second-hand ride-ons, which are nothing special, but again, there's stuff to do on all of these going up through here. A new old stock chipper. So I bought this from an auction. It is brand new, never been used, but I definitely paid second-hand price for it. So I don't really know much about it, but we'll be featuring that at some point and seeing if it all works and seeing why I managed to get it quite so cheap. Other projects include a Greenmec CS100 chipper, a Billy Goat blower, that is a Westwood ride-on, Segway quad bike, Suzuki quad bike, still ride on, Hasfana ride on, and a John Deere ride on. All ready and waiting to be done. So this is the main lawn area, which, well, to be quite honest, it's a nice big area, but it is terrible. It is in such bad condition with moss everywhere. We've got this large area on the top where we're going to need to clear and make sure that that is all sorted and tidy. So you may have noticed the wind in the background of our videos lately. It's because I have so many mic problems. I had problems with my mic so it didn't work properly and then I bought some second-hand ones to try and get that system working and they didn't. So I thought, oh sod it, let's just buy some cheap ones, see how they work. Josh done a video with them the other day and it wasn't great on that either. So now I've just bitten the bullet and bought a whole brand new set of road goes which I've had before, road go to, road, uh, wireless, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, so the the audio will be getting better again. So I can only apologize at the moment that the audio has been a bit terrible lately. Right, let's check out this. All right, so being that we've got some acres, I reckon there's gonna be some bigger content coming. Oh yes, and it's gonna start with this Winton six foot topper, which is the 1.8 meter topper. Nice rotary single bladed topper, which I'm well excited about getting out and cutting down some of those rushes out on our fields, which I'll show you in a minute. We couldn't do a video without mentioning our favorite tractor, the Sammy 80 Explorer. Love it! 
recent content on the vlog channel has been sorting out a load of muddy areas. So we've had a load of road cleanings coming in, we've been sorting out drains and just trying to get everything sorted so it's just a little bit tidier, neater, and the water's going in the right direction. We do have a lot of outbuildings. Yes, we've got 17 and a half thousand square feet of outbuildings, but we haven't kept them full for ourselves because we actually inherited some tenants. So 14,000 square foot of these buildings is already let out. So I'm theoretically now a landlord, which is a bit of a scary thought. But anyway, they are mostly let out, but as you can see, they are very run down. So there's gonna be a load of work we need to do on these. It's like sterling board on the outside of a building on exterior use, not great. So stuff like that is all gonna be redone. There's gutters, so this valley in here is very, very wet and leaks into the buildings. So we're gonna to have to be sorting that out. It's another project we're gonna to have to be doing. That will definitely be on the vlog channel, not on the Machine Nation channel because it's more sort of project orientated. So the case, she has been sat here since we turned up pretty much. I did use her once, but she's been sat here since. All working order but going to be sold. But there's a few jobs we need to do first to tidy her up and get her all sorted properly. I love that track, that absolute beast. So this is the other end of the farm, which as you can see is very rushy, which means it's very boggy. That is the boundary over there, which we need to lay the hedge and do some fencing, get all the boundaries sorted and just get it stock proof, get the drain sorted, cut all the rushes down and just make it much, much better. It's not just this bit that's wet, it's everything. <laughs> yeah, everything is wet. So now we've got the yard down here and another shed. So this is potentially going to be our log yard in here because it isn't used at the moment. So our timber area, oh, if I don't slip over because it's very slippery, is going to be in here. So we've got timber back there, but I don't know how much the chainsaws are going to echo in there is my only problem. But yeah, nice yard. Again, everything's all wet and waterlogged. So all needs sorting out. Probably the biggest gate I've ever seen in my life, which is probably about, I don't know, 24 foot, something like that. It's huge, two gates welded together. And Max is skidding on that. Always oh, nice. Like I says, we've also got a free link box. We inherited a link box. So who's claiming that one? Me, beyond the kabota. <laughs> we have 10 acres of land in total. Down the bottom there is the lower boundary against the wood. And I think, as you can see, this Winton topper is going to be put to work. This is our temporary goat pen where we fence them in to eat off all the brambles and stinging nails and done a cracking job. But now they are back on hay again because they've eaten the best bits. But we have plans for loads more animals, including a pony for Molly and Max wants a flock of sheep. This is a project we've already done where this water is just sitting here behind this concrete. We've mulled underneath the concrete and put a pipe in underneath. So the water now has somewhere to go down through that ditch. But we've still got to clear out the rest of the ditch to be able to let it run properly all the way down. But for now, it is working and the water is running really, really well. We also inherited this bank of 39 solar panels, which is awesome. Not sure why they put them there. It's a little bit awkward, but anyway, we've got to deal with it. There's another view of the land. We've got the concrete track going down to the woods, which isn't ours, but they've got access to the woods. And this comes back round over to that wet area in the bottom. This is our woodland down through here. This is pretty cool. We'll go down there in a second. But here we have a lovely big oak tree, which has fallen down before we were here. But look at that, I reckon we're going to mill that for sure. Oh yes. So yeah, that's a bit of content there. All right, should we go down here? Yeah. So this is the bottom piece. There's a stream that runs down through there and down through this bit and then back out into the field again. So not massive, but yeah, pretty cool. There's also another really wet bit at the bottom of this field, which I reckon I'm going to be tempted to top that just to see if I get stuck. Now this is probably the best grassland we've got here, up above, which we will be making some hay, won't we Max? Yep. Oh yes, hay and more bigger machinery content for out here. But yes, there's still be loads of lawnmowers and chainsaws and small machinery and hand tools and power tools and amazing content like that that we've previously done. This is just all going to be extra, because bear in mind, I don't any longer have a machinery dealership, so this is going to be full time. So yeah, there's going to be lots of it. We bought this Takuchi five ton digger to do the work around the farm, but it also needs a load of work doing to it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I have purchased a massive water tank. Yes, 5,000 litre water tank, which we are going to be creating a rainwater harvesting system to be able to run the pressure washers, water troughs, and anything else which isn't pretty much drinking water from this system. So this is our lane and it is in a sorry state. This part actually belongs to our neighbour, which is rough, and then it goes a little bit smoother again before you get to our bit, which is super rough. 
Right, and then these are some also some worst bits here, which is pretty rough at the moment. Again, that doesn't take too much to do really because you can just scratch over it with a digger and add some more material and roll it all in again. So yeah, you can see people have been driving in the verge in here. And down here is the cow grid, which I think if you can see it is under there somewhere. But yeah, this is proper rough. And then we go into a bit of tarmac road down to here where there's even more potholes down there. We have probably purchased the windiest and wettest property we could for creating content. But don't worry, we'll deal with that. The new mics are en route and we will see them soon. So apologies that it has been a bit terrible lately. But the content is going to be great going forward. As you said, we have got so much to do, so many projects to work on, and not just creating content for the sake of it, but using it within projects we're doing. But we're not doing away with the new product featured videos or even the comparison videos. They're still going to be happening about lawnmowers and chainsaws and garden equipment and power tools. That's all happening, but things are going to get bigger and they're going to be working on projects with them instead, as well as doing the other videos. So well excited about the content that is coming soon. But it's not just going to be me. Oh no, there's also going to be Josh doing videos, Richard doing videos, Alex doing videos, Mike doing videos, as well as Max, Molly and Suzanne, so that we can create as much varied content for you as possible. It's going to get more exciting. It's going to be a little bit more relaxed. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Cheerio!